What's up guys, I'm back with another Netflix original movie review. I have been patiently waiting for this movie for quite some time. I love The Big Sick, which is another movie where Michael Showalter and Kumail Nanjiani work together. And now it's time for another collaboration between them and I was excited. By the by, I'm Valentin Kali, the movie guy, and this is my review for The Lovebirds. If you enjoy, do press the like button, leave a comment if you like, and subscribe. Jabron and Leilani have been together for four years. We see how they were when they met each other, and now, four years later, there's cracks in their relationships, and during a long row in a car, they realize that they shouldn't be together. Jabron, surprised by the breakup, skips a red light and hits a guy, who seems desperate to get away. A cop commandeers Jabron's vehicle, looking for the one that they just hit. He chases him and runs him over with the car. Maybe he wasn't a cop after all. Now, Jabron and Leilani are running away from the police whilst trying to solve the case. Let's start with some negatives. This movie is not just about them finding the killer and setting themselves free, but they also found out some of the problems that led to them breaking up. He never wants to go out with other people, they don't communicate enough, they don't know what the other thinks of the other. One chooses an unknown way of torture thinking that it's better than getting hard grease in the face, whilst the other thinks it's better to pick the pain you already know. I didn't like it that the movie was trying to make everything about their relationship, like everything that they do in order to find the killer reminds them of each other and why they're actually better together than they realized. Other aspects like the cops chasing them because they were the primary suspects were not present in this movie, like the cops are not chasing them at all in this movie. The overall plot is not very strong. They have some refreshing takes, like the second scene when the police finally gets involved. I didn't really care about who is the killer, what are his motives, I only cared about the two protagonists and listening to more of their banter. The comedy is really good. The back and forth between these two is hilarious. There is a bit where Gibran and Leilani simulate surrendering to the police with Leilani being the officer. It's just great dialogue. It also helps that the two actors have great chemistry together. I love Gibran. I kinda see myself in him. He is very sarcastic towards people. He is a bit of a hater inside. He says that he doesn't like reality TV shows but he actually watches them. He makes fun of his girlfriend because she's obsessed with likes on Instagram. He's very smart. That's where I see myself most in him. Wink wink. Leilani is not bad by any stretch. Both of them form a very good partnership. They can keep you entertained for the entire runtime. The movie hangs its hopes on the two leads, Issa Rae and Kumail Nanjiani, to click and steal the show. And they went and did just that. Both of them are so good, like I said before, they have pretty good chemistry and I wouldn't mind seeing another movie where they work together. I like Kumail a little bit more, I feel like the guy is just hilarious, but Issa Rae was very much on par with him. The scene in which they break up is my favorite. It starts with a very stupid argument, like couples have, about their chances in a reality TV show. Then it gets a bit more personal when Gibran gets mad that Leilani liked a picture on Instagram about marriage, which is something that she told him that she do doesn't want. They trade an awful insult apiece and then they break up. The tone changed so quickly, it was amazing. It was all jokes for the beginning and then boom, the point of no return. I was very excited for this movie and you know, it delivered. It might not have the strongest plot but the banter between the two protagonists can rope anyone in and keep them interested for an hour and 20 minutes. For my alternative pick, I choose The Big Sick. It's a very different movie from this one. It's a romance with some good comedy that is loosely based on Kumail Nanjiani's life. It also features one of my favorite actresses and underappreciated I would say, Zoe Kazan. So, my rating for The Lovebirds is 3.5 stars.